Saturday morning and we are in Hemet, California at Diamond Valley Lake Marina area for our second trail race. It is another half marathon distance. This time it's actually a half marathon, not 14 some miles. Super excited to get into it. As you can see, the sun is rising behind me. The boats are getting on the water. Beautiful, beautiful area. If you just want to get out, I think it's a $5 admission to come in, park. They have e-bike rentals. They have trails you can run and ride your bikes on. Highly recommend it. I'll actually put a link in the description below, but uh, we got a race to run. Let's get to it. And of course, being that it's early in the morning, the symphony of porta potty doors is ringing loud this morning. They have plenty of porta potties here, so super excited about that. No wait lines, that's great. Let's go over to registration and uh, see where the guy's going. So as you can see, we got a hike up to the start. Just a quick little jaunt up there this way, which is basically the fire road. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. We are three miles in and uh, feeling pretty good. Had to fix the shoe. I had to pee, of course. And I uh, gotta be honest with you, they maintenance these porta potties really well. Absolutely clean. I know it's kind of weird, but it's actually a really big thing, if you ask me. Especially when you're a little exhausted. You don't want to go in there and it's pretty much deadly. Anyways, we still got a while to go. Let's keep to it. There it is, three miles. Yeehaw. Beautiful course though, absolutely beautiful. Well marked, just awesome. Welcome everyone. I am your damn guide on. Damn, I mean, oh damn. Wait, no seriously, damn, look. Now are there any damn questions? I wonder if we're allowed to take photos of the dam. And please take all the damn pictures you want. Wonder if they can help the fishermen. Yeah, where can I get some damn bait? Eddie. This way, please. And of course, here come your race leaders. Awesome job, gents, awesome job. <laughs> Woohoo! Coming to the turnaround. Thank you, volunteers. Woo! Look at all that. Oh, wait, you have to get the Ultra Buds signed. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ultra Buds, we'll get them there. Awesome. <laughs> My favorite part is the turnaround. Big thanks to the volunteers for being out here, taking care of us. As you can see by the table, lots of grub. We're gonna get something, fill the water. We got a little bit to go. We're only halfway there. So I have to be honest. We get off the trails, we're on some asphalt, which is great. But I really like the dirt a little bit better. Even though there's all the rocks, ondulation, all the fun stuff, you gotta be careful. And this is pretty firm and pretty safe for the most part. Definitely feel it on my knees a little bit more. But uh, next year, sign up for this race. I highly recommend it. And of course, I've yet to hit the why did I sign up portion of the run. It's probably about two more miles. But uh, to be honest with you, you really can't explain why the heck we do stupid stuff like this, but it seems like every time we finish, we're looking for the next one. Unfortunately, my next one is, oh, next week. So yeah, let's just keep at it, keep the leg. Let's get going. Woo! Well, less than a quarter mile, and we are going to be done. I am back from.
from the Bedrock Valley Trail Run hosted by Elevation Culture. And as you can see by my awesome handcrafted wood uh, award that I completed the challenge. This is a half marathon distance. Uh, super excited. Let's go over some race details. Now, mind you, I did film an ending to this video uh, while I was there, but to be honest with you, I was so out of it that I just feel I mumbled a bunch of stuff. So uh, we'll get into a little bit better detail, kind of a race recap. And uh, yeah, we got a lot coming up. Let's get to it. First and foremost, the location of the race was in Hemet, California, which was Diamond Valley uh, Reservoir that's up there. Beautiful lake, lots of great fishing up there and trails that you can go out with your family. In fact, you can rent e-bikes if you'd like or just go on a nice hike while we were up there, especially when we were completing. They had a nice train of cars coming in and people running along the trails that we were on. So what I recommend this race, 10 out of 10, absolutely, especially if you're a beginner in trail racing, a great way to get your feet wet. Elevation Culture does a wonderful job. In fact, I'll drop a link to the description below. They have one coming up in Missouri, which would be really fun to go to. Unfortunately, I can't make that, but they're gonna have one at Lake Hodges, which we will definitely be a part of and get signed up for that. Uh, as for the race and how did it go? Well, first and foremost, I survived, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, it was a great out and back, so we basically went out over the dam, came back. So uh, yeah, I just a really fun course. How did I feel? To be honest with you, I tied my right shoe the wrong way, so I'm kind of learning about this type of stuff. Tied it the wrong way when I took off, it was a little too tight, so about the first two miles, I actually had to stop and retie my shoe. Uh, my foot was just kind of screaming inside the shoe. Uh, but after that, and after I fixed it, I was able to just go, again, they had porta potties on the course, which you can see in some of the video clips that I gave. Uh, very, very clean, which is wonderful. So uh, absolutely nice the way the area is maintenance and taken care of. From there, coming back, uh, you know, great finish. Uh, the only negative would be the fact that you make a turn and then you stare straight up a hill and you have to run, uh, run uphill to the finish. But I think that's kind of a whole part of the uh, trail racing. I think that's what makes it unique. Uh, so I really did enjoy that. You ever sign up for back-to-back -back races, back-to-back -back weekends, back-to-back -back half marathons, and you're really still new at this stuff? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Well, that is exactly what I did. So awesome race that I had yesterday, but then next week, a week from today, I will be running the Bay to Beach Half Marathon. I am excited about that. It runs all over Mission Beach and Pacific Beach. Uh, basically, it's a big loop of the community running by SeaWorld, so I'm very, very excited about that. But did I make a mistake? Absolutely. When I originally signed up, I thought it was uh, a two week, you know, a one weekend break. I just, when I looked at the calendar, so all in all, I absolutely recommend these events by Elevation Culture. Eric and the crew over there do a great job. Big thanks to them, along with the volunteers that were out there taking care of us. Avocado quesadillas, absolutely for the win at the turnaround point. I want to thank you guys for watching another episode. Don't forget to do what the circle states. Basically subscribe, like, ring the bell notification. Oh man, I know I'm missing one. Ah, well, we'll see you guys next week. In fact, we have another half marathon, as I said. I don't know how much race footage we're gonna get of that because to be honest with you, I just wanna go out and enjoy and run the race as opposed to attempting to film like I did this one. I almost fell a few times, slightly embarrassing, but luckily I was so slow, nobody was around. We'll see you next week.